Hey everybody, this is Crystal with So Save Me, still trying to clear off some shelves. I have a Kenmore Ultra Stitch 12 today. This is probably one of my all-time favorite models, especially for beginning sewers, because it is super simple and it is a very strong machine. I don't know if you can break these things. There's a lady on Facebook that posted that she has been using hers for over 40 years and never had a problem with it. I believe her. So this one um, is, it's got your, your stitch selector dial and you can see all of those up here that are available to you. That includes buttonholing, which is pretty cool. Here's your reverse, okay. This is your stitch length knob, your power switch, which operates your light and turns your machine on and off. Tension dial very simple this one you cannot drop your feed dogs however i have the plate that fits over your feed dogs so that you can do darning or free motion quilting if you wish i also have i think every single attachment available for this machine um, you're going to get two boxes of attachments and i will show photos of that including um, the buttonholing attachment that fits onto the front of the machine. They're really hard to find. I got lucky and you've got it for this one. Also the original manual and a case that I have spray painted so it's nice and bright white again. Like most vintage items that are made of plastic, it was yellowed and as so is this machine in some plastic areas but doesn't harm the functionality. All right, so Let's do some test stitching. I've started off with a simple straight stitch. So here we go. Oh, let me get my foot on the pedal. Nice and quiet. Takes right off, no problem, but it stays under control. There are the stitches. And I notice that this is pulling through a little, so that means I need to increase my tension up here just a smidge. It varies by fabric. So the fabric I was using earlier with this must have been a little heavier than this one. But All right, we're going to turn. Make sure I've got my fabric straightened out. And let's do a zigzag. And this is kind of a narrow zigzag, so we'll start with that one. And stop there. Okay, very basic little zigzag. I didn't change the stitch length, so that's why you don't see that pattern really clearly. Okay. Let's see, let's do something fun. How about this guy here? And I'm gonna tighten up our stitch length so that you can see it a little more clearly. Okay, here we go. pick one more. I think they call this one the multi-point zigzag and I believe it is often used for repairing. Like you go over and over and over a spot like a hole in your jeans or something. All right. You can see here while I was sewing 
I changed the stitch length <laughs> just so you could see what that looks like as you change the stitch length. All right, it's a very easy to use machine, um, a great first machine, and it will last a very long time. All right, good luck.